everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast with chicken pot pie. I'm your co-host, Ooh. Ryan Landry. Ooh. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. A little peek behind the curtain there. You want to show it? You want to show chat? Well, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If you see his camera turn off halfway uh. through the episode and you hear the microphone muted, you know what he's doing over there. He's chomping. No, I ain't muting it. I want you to hear that. <laughs> Y'all could get that ASMR for free. <laughs> Crispy biscuits. Yeah, we had Chipotle over here. Ooh, bowl of burrito. Uh, I go burrito every time. What about you? Yeah. Uh, I, I usually if I'm going, I'm going bowl. Did you do the the new trick? What's the new trick? I get the, the, that's a roundabout way of saying no. If I'm asking you what the new yeah. trick is, yeah. What's the new? Yeah, you got you got you got to film them. Because <laughs> then they're like, oh, you're trying to get you're trying to get one on this because you know Chipotle with their the portions terrible portions. Yeah. Are you still hungry or are you? satiated i'm very full ours uh okay the one we're going to is a newer one probably only built in like the past two months or something like that we're Ooh. frequent patrons we give them a lot of business now okay. um All right. you don't think they're skipping on any ingredients they're doing decent on the portions they're doing decent we'll see if that degrades over time wow. the old trick that i knew was that if you wanted double portions of something you don't tell them okay. until they've scooped the first portion right they play their hand because if you tell them i want oh. double meat how do you they know do that both little, scoops? How do you know that both be, scoops are fair oh. scoops? No, you let them do the first scoop and then you go, and I'd like double. I've now seen what a scoop looks like, so I want that again. I'm expecting that again. Yeah. That, That's the that, old that, trick. Wow. <laughs> a little more discreet, maybe, than <laughs> film them, yeah. but not a bad trick. <laughs> not a bad trick by any means. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know if it was actually true, but people were, were saying that there was like a internal That's, like memo going around where someone was like, if you see them with their phone out don't make sure you you know you go a little extra okay all right <laughs> that's too funny well we got bad press yeah yeah bad, well, bad press on the on the pot lake but hey glad lighter, you had a great experience on a lighter note we're here to talk about sneakers though okay. that's where it gets better so thank you everyone who's joining us for the first time maybe a result of last week's episode the crawfish dunk big one on. big moment for us that was great welcome to shoot podcast if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button if you're watching on youtube Come on. if you're listening on your favorite podcast platform Consider hitting follow or subscribe, whatever the call to action is there. Mm. We're here tonight, though, talking about sneakers, specifically <gasps> the brand you love to not know how to pronounce Amma Meniere. And tough. not as bad as Amma Leondor, but their collaborations with Jordan Brand on the heels of their big release. We're going to be ranking all of them. And when I say Ooh. all of them, I mean all of them asterisk. And we'll get into that. Oh, I like so, that a little footnote. Of should we set the scene? Let's break out the epilogue, dog. Here we go. And bam. All right. So uh, I'm going to bring the people up to speed here. Pardon me for reading a little bit here, but I put together a little outline. So I just want to set the context here. So two weeks ago, Amma Meniere debuted their six shoe collection with Nike named the while you were sleeping collection in celebration of their 10 year anniversary. 10 count them. That's great for them. Now, as of the time of recording, we don't, they, ha they just released the trailer video for while you were sleeping. You know, normally they do Jordan brands. They do like these big campaign videos. We just got the trailer. We don't have like the full details yet of like the meaning behind while you were sleeping. I can only assume it has something to do with the boogeyman or maybe morning do things that happen in the night as we slumber. I like the, the two <laughs> ends of Those are the only two things that happen in the night. Name something else that happens in the night. I don't know. I can't. I'm you sleeping. can't. You physically can't. Um, <laughs> but the big note here that I thought was very interesting that a lot, I don't know about a lot of people are talking about, but some people have caught on to it. This is only the second time that a collaborator has released a collection of this size spanning across hmm. all three of Nike's brands, Nike, Jordan, and Converse. The first and last time and only time prior to this being Virgil Abloh's The 10 Collection back in 2016. That was the wow. last time we got someone doing a one shot across all the brands like this. So it, I think it just kind of goes to show it's a testament to how much Nike values their relationship with Amma Meniere and Talk about. It's a recognition of how important, you know, the Amma Meniere brand and business is. Wow. That is pretty, that is pretty wild. Also yeah. crazy. It's been that long since mm -hmm. the 10. Man. I know. Makes you feel old, huh? Sure does. Let's see. We can go through. Uh, we've got Ooh. over here on the side of the screen. If you're not watching some of the sneakers here, this whole time, it should have been automatically going through all of them, but it's not. So yeah. as I remember to hit next, I'll go ahead and hit next. Um, I'll have to fire that intern. 
yeah yeah whoever put that together um so walking through that collection of six shoes we got the they're doing another jordan three another jordan four they're doing a jordan 39 an air max 95 an air force one and a converse i think it's a weapon low sorry we don't know converse that well not sorry Um, proud of you for even just saying converse (laughs) just even knowing it's converse so (laughs) On the on the wave of that announcement, and then we're actually recording as of the day that the latest Jordan 3 dropped, I thought it was timely we go back and we rank all of their Jordan brand collaborations. Now, very excited. Already got hot takes. Oh, I can't wait for them. Cooking. Now, let's talk real quick. This is where the disclaimers come in. This list is explicitly focusing on Ama Manier and Jordan collabs, not Social Status, which is another company uh, within the Whitaker group but not Amma Manier. And we're only doing Jordan brand. We're not doing Nike. Amma Manier and Nike. So it's just Amma Manier and Jordan brand. And when we say Wait. Amma Manier and Jordan brand, and we oh. say every collab, we're talking about the 12 biggest ones. Okay, let's be honest here. Okay, there there yeah, was, yeah, yeah. they did, there's a couple of shoes we're excluding. They did a Proto Max 720 in 2019. We're not talking about that. We're not, we're not talking about that because let's be honest, listener, you forgot that shoe existed. Just like I didn't know it existed. Um, he didn't even know what a proto uh, uh, a proto minimum. He like, forgot it. He forgot it already. He doesn't even know what it is. Yeah, the proto I, I max seven twenty. Um, and then two of the airships they did just because they've done three airships now. Some of them are more like let's call it like a PE than a collaboration, really. So we've got one on the list, but I didn't want to put all three because then it's kind of like we're just ranking colors. Like, what's your favorite color? So yeah, no, that's not fair. We're just gonna go through the twelve biggest. Uh, Jordan brand collabs. So yeah. And you, you did forget also to mention, if you don't like our criteria, we'd love to hear your own ranking system. Your list. So That's right. just go ahead, make a ranking system, make yep. sure you tag us and then we'll invite you on the podcast and <laughs> we can virtually talk about that or fight. And let me tell you right now, if you don't like our ranking system, guess what? We don't even know what it is yet. We're going to find it along the way. We yeah. don't even know what it is. <laughs> And don't, don't don't ask for it. Watch the whole thing. Yeah, watch, the whole, watch the whole thing front to back, front to back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Shall we go ahead and kick this thing off? So as you can see, we got our empty tier, tier list slate here. We got mm. 12. I did do it right. All right. We got 12 shoes yeah. at the bottom here, and we are going to rank them one by one on a tier list from S being the best to F being the worst. And I put them in here in chronological order. So it's not, okay, you know, that's, that's good. It's going to be a little weighted in some areas in terms of how interesting it is and how sure. boring it is. But I thought chronological was like the most fair and yeah. kind of timeline way to do it here. So I do like go- how you threw the, the E in there. Uh, the E tier, the E tier is always in there. Yeah. I feel, I feel like is the F tier not in there. I feel like there's more tiers. This is go around. This is always it. This is always our list we have right here. Dang. Okay. We do it big. Yeah. Well, we don't skimp for the people. Because C tier is the middle. Low shrimp. C C tier is the middle. You got three above it, yeah. three below it. So that's that's how it's going to okay. work out here. All right. Love to hear it. Starting us off, we're going to start in 2021. The very first, excluding the Proto Max 720 collaboration <laughs> between Ama Manier and Jordan Brand, the Jordan Three raised by women. Uh, as we talk about yeah. each shoe, if you're watching, you've already picked up on it. But if you're listening, another good time to oh. to reinforced it's a very visuals heavy episode but we'll have pictures of the shoes above our heads here um i've been talking a lot so you go ahead start us off here the jordan well, would love to raised by this women. is this is tough i'll be honest because tough. i i feel like normally we don't start with the banger right, right. and this one's pretty pretty great mm-hmm. i really love it it i think whenever it came out it hit and it was a big moment kind of like set the scene um and i think really had a lot of people very excited for mm-hmm. what amam and Yer, what is going to to bring forward yeah um this was a great example of them being like hey we are going to bring that more premium kind of like outfit to the sneakers um mm-hmm. and you saw it a lot with the details the material they chose um, and everything they did with like presenting it and, and things like that. This was it, tough because it's the first one. Yeah. In, in my opinion, just to add on to that real quick, this one, it was the first collab they did. And I think it set the precedent for Amma Manier and Jordan collaborations yeah. of like, here's the bar, right? And the bar is high right out of the gate. Very. But they also 
knocked it out of the park right at, right out of the gate I, yeah we've said it a number of times on our show in different episodes but the jordan 3 is one of the jordan silhouettes that's not as often collaborated on as some other silhouettes like the one and the four yep. more recent years and on the three i think it's hard to do a good three and easy to do a mediocre or bad three mm-hmm. just because of how many like iconic threes there have been from ogs to collaborations and the fact that they did something different and just knocked it out of the park, I think cements it as such a legendary one. And the fact that they stayed away from elephant print. Because let's that, that was it, uh, right? That honest. was that, that was the cheat code. The cheat code was to yeah. do elephant print. To not do elephant print was more of a risk for sure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I my gut on this one says A tier. It's S tier. And I, it's S tier. So and I, I am okay with S tier. Okay. Um the I understand because there is a lot. It is a little bit more, um, I guess, plain Jane. Um, it's really just like a, a white and gray shoe at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, now, again, it's extremely clean. Yeah. Well, and I think the thing we've got to keep in mind is that like one of Amamanir's things, like one of their design principles is that like they stay in their color palette and it's kind of like. Yeah elevated simplicity or minimalism almost. So it's like, I I think agreed that like it is, it's a very simple shoe, but also within the scope of Amon Manier and Jordan brand, they're all kind of, you know, they stick to yeah. their color palette. They do nice materials. Very fair. So very yeah. fair. I, I am, I am, I'm, I'm good with eight with, with S tier. All right. Um, For this one. It's, it is, it is hard not to. Thank you everyone for checking just... out another episode. I get, you know, that's probably the one that people came to see, but we're going yeah. chronological here. You know, I don't want to, we're not going to stack it. Yeah. Wait till it you is, see. Like I said, it hard with a banger right at the right, gate. Right. But wait till you see how we rank the new collection. Oh, it's come. It's coming. Speaking of coming, the next one that we got here also later, this one blew my mind. This was also in 2021. I'd like to me, this felt like it came so much later than the three, but maybe that was just perception of how big the three was, but this was within maybe. the same year. Um, the Jordan. That doesn't, yeah, that doesn't seem right, but and this I one, guess we are. this one pun intended was a bit of a left turn for them because it's, it's relatively within that same color palette, but like on the three, the color pop was more purple. Whereas this one was kind of more burgundy ish. And so mm-hmm. like, Oh, it's a little bit out of their color palette and also snake skin, snake skin and cracked yeah. leather. So just uh, a similar, but different direction on the one. The snake skin is what really th- through this for me for sure yeah um uh, i don't I, I mean still to this day i'm not entirely i still don't really get it um they abandoned it after well after the yeah. two you know it, it seems like they were trying to maybe make it a thing but yeah fetch just did not happen Mm-mm. so it's 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 nice mm-hmm. but it's just that snake skin that just kind of yeah has it thrown for me oh man for me it's the it's the snake 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 skin combined with the cracked leather right we've said it on the show before yeah. i'm just not a fan of cracked leather on shoes i know um and that's- i i do however like that they went with the sale midsole on this one they went with like that cream midsole yeah. that that helps it a little bit uh shout out houston houston got a pair of these um and i know he loves them he's worn them into the ground and in hand or in person a little bit better like i think it's better okay. but it's still it's not my favorite Amma Manier Jordan collab. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I I almost want to go zesty with this one. Hit it. How spicy. Throw some D's on that. Whoa. Okay. I was I was gonna go B or C. B is crazy. You think crazy? I mean, I think B is crazy. I th- like I definitely I don't know what that I definitely don't love it. But I also, mm, I don't necessarily hate it. So like C tier for me could be a little bit more. Is is C tier agreeable between my thinking about B tier and you're thinking about D tier? I could do C tier. It's, it's fine. like you said, it's I, not, it's a one. Yeah. I think, I think if that's it's not thing. a one, that's the if thing. It's not right? a one. Yeah. It's yeah. not, it's the, not a C tier. The silhouette's doing some of the heavy lifting on this one for well, sure. For- when you say some of it, you mean all of the heavy lifting oh, on this one. <laughs> 
All right. It's on a one and the midsole is sale. Yeah. Yeah. We found nice things to say about it. There you go. Uh, maybe unlike this next one. So now we're in 2022 here. The next Ooh. one, they do the Jordan two airness and no fault of Amamanier. 2022 was the year that Jordan brand was pushing the Jordan. Two, right? the two. Cause it was, oh, yeah. it was the whatever anniversary of it. Um, and so Amamanier, I think they would like to say got to, but I would say had to <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. And if this was, the mic is on. Yeah. They were lucky <laughs> to do it too. Yeah. Um, but this one, like we were saying earlier, stuck with similar design motifs that we saw from the Jordan one, where you got snakeskin on the midsole though, which I will say, I don't like it, but like, yeah. kudos to, I've never seen anyone do snakeskin on the midsole or maybe, a reason for may, Right. I was just going to say, maybe there's a reason for that, but you know, <laughs> yeah, you swung for it. Um, but still, <laughs> still crack leather uppers. The, my issue here, right. Is that now you don't have the, but on this silhouette, right. It's cause now it's a two. Yeah. Yeah. Which, I still stand by. I think Union did the best Jordan two I've ever seen. I really like Union did a pretty good two. Union made me feel like okay, this silhouette's not like always a dislike for me, like with the right take on it. But it's a very specific, limited take, apparently. Yeah, Um, yeah. But yeah, these. I don't know. I I ended up I grabbed a pair of these, but it was much more of a. Listen, kids, sometimes we got to make content for the podcast. Okay. Right. Sometimes it's not, it's not always about like, I'm excited to wear these. Um, and it's also not Sorry. about, let's set the record real quick. It's not about, right. we're going to resell these to make that money. Right. It's a Jordan two. There was not. Yeah. There was yeah, not, not profiting happening here. Um, we're not really eating off of that. Right. So it was more of a, just kind of wanting to see what they were like in hand and had the chance to buy them. Uh, ended up as I've alluded to not wearing them. So fair enough. Yeah. To me, this is a, uh, this is to put it nicely. It's not high Say on the it. list. It's, it's lower on the Say alphabet. It. It's closer to element OP, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. I've gone, I've gone crazy on the first two out the gate. So I'm taking a back seat on this one. You, yeah. which is, which is a, a layup. Is it, is it blasphemous to put an Amamanier Jordan collaboration at F tier? Not when you put snakeskin on the midsole. <laughs> All right. There we go. Not when you put snakeskin on the midsole. Listen up, everybody. We're here. To, we're standing by it. It's, uh, it's not good. It's not good. And this was also, I was sorry, just to add on real quick. This added further to the confusion because the, the color shade on this one was like, even yeah. darker burgundy, but not the purple. And so you're just like, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out like, what's your color palette? And I think it's just, like, what shade lost of the like color code? Red and, <laughs> they lost the keys to the hex codes yeah. like out of it, a paywall. So they're like, I remember there's a nine somewhere. It's purple-ish. It's no, a little more red, a little more red. No one's paying attention. <laughs> just push it out. I'll tell you what they did pay attention to, though. The next release here. Also Ooh. in 2022, it was crazy. It wasn't until I was yeah. doing putting this episode together that I realized they were doing two Jordan collaborations a year. Like, yeah, crazy pace for anyone. That's nuts. Um, but later in 2022, the Jordan Four Violet or their first take at the Jordan Four. I think they they pun intended got their footing here. You know they they got back on track with agreed. This one. Yeah, agreed. Did you? This um, one was. Woo. Do you remember when you first saw this one or like, were you thinking about maybe trying to get it? I definitely was trying to get this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, Big swing and a miss multiple swings and misses. Um, But yeah, no, this one, this was, I liked it so much. I was, cause I'm not a big, uh, I guess like single color. Even if there are like some materials that can break it up, but it's still the same color like this. But I was like, wow, this just looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I sure. thought this one, I was like, I, I could definitely see. And this was the first one where I think it really, for me was obvious of the, um, that premium. Mm, okay. Uh, adjustment. I really couldn't see it. Um, with the other ones, but for some reason with this one, I was like, this one does look like they 
took the Jordan four, but then kind of elevated it. Yeah. Uh, this, so this one was where I was like, okay, I get the Amma um, Manier effect that they're trying to have on, mm-hmm. on sneakers. And I was like, it is a clean looking shoe. And I do really like the fours as well. So, yeah. uh, I was like, this is a great silhouette. I mm-hmm. love the color on this one. I think it like looks really good. The material looks fantastic. Um, so I, yeah, I absolutely fell in love with this one. Like I said, this was the one where it like the ah, mom and year, it clicked mm. for me. Do you think part of that was maybe because this was looking at, I think the first Jordan silhouette where they really got to make some design changes and maybe it's simple, but just adding that little metal stud on the outside of the shoe there could be because the rest of them, I mean, okay. they did the, they did the quilted sock liner, right? Which I'm yeah. sure is not too often, but does happen. The satin sock liner, but the little metal stud again, simple but adds adds your little stamp adds your little your little that's us we did it yeah i really like it Mm -hmm. this one was darn good yeah i uh i grab these i have a pair of these and i'm so happy that i do i don't wear them that much because they do feel so premium that i kind of feel bad wearing them like day to day they feel like more of like a special occasion shoe but also just like the materials on the outside of it feel like a little stiff, like they need some breaking in. So I'm, hmm. I don't know. I'm hoping if over time they get a little bit more broken in uh, like a good high quality baseball glove. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Just walk in. Ryan just punching his <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Yo, Come if you on. walk into the bedroom of me punching my shoes, close the door and walk out. Okay. Don't ask. Yeah. Me question. You didn't see none. You didn't. Why see didn't nothing. you text me first? Don't say something. Um, but one of my favorite stories about this shoe was that Around the time, I don't know if it was around the release or after the fact, but there was this popular on the subreddit sneakers post of some guy who got an oil stain on his Alma Manier Jordan Force and he was asking people how to get him out. And someone recommended cornstarch. <laughs> cornstarch would like soak up the oil, but the next post he did, they were like covered in cornstarch. Just dusted. <laughs> Just, yeah. I wish I thought of that ahead of time. I would have pulled the graphic up for this right now. But if you if you can find it, go look it up. Cornstarch Alma Manier Jordan Force. He just there you go. caked the things and all the comments were like bro too far too far too much too much <laughs> too much all right so uh sounds like we both got really positive sentiment about this one and do love it yeah. uh yeah. for me a tier not as high oh he wants to go s he wants to go s mm, i don't i don't hate it because i do love both of these shoes i don't hate it because yeah. i love both these shoes yeah. thank you s tier to do it twice on a run already. Kinda, We're not even halfway kinda through. Shout kinda out to Amamanir. All right. Next release I'll that we've got choice. here. This was in 2023. The Jordan 12. They did uh, one in white and one in black. I'm lumping these two together, and I think we should put them on the same tier list ranking. Sure. Just Otherwise, because we're just saying, like, I like this color more than that one, you know? Yeah, I just like the, um, the all black more than the all white. Right. Yeah. But when we get to the Jordan fives, I will do them separately, I think, because they're different enough. Fair. Sound good. Okay. So the Jordan okay. 12, these were again in 2023, white upper, black upper, but when, with that, that mauve, that burgundy sort of mm. suede hit wrapped around the toe there. One of the small yeah. details on these that I didn't realize, I think you'll see it in the next image coming up here. One of the little lace loops has a jump man and the other one has the that, yeah. here, A in there. Small I little touch, that. but like, didn't get it premium like that feels yeah. premium right there i agree i agree um that being said both of us have pretty frequently been on the record not jordan 12 guys nothing yeah nothing against the shoe just not something no. that either of us would wear um and i think this was i don't remember the two the i'm, I'm in your jordan 2 sitting at retail or outlets publicly so much as the jordan 12s the jordan 12s very publicly sat for a while, went on sale went mm. to outlets. And I think it was kind of the first time that people were starting to question. Maybe like maybe I'm, I'm in your doesn't hit it out of the park every time, you know? Well, it's hard, especially when your shoe goes to an outlet. Yeah. It's definitely it's hard to change that perception there. Yeah. And I understand. I, I think it's, it, it is tough because I think like up until this release, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously they've gone with very popular silhouettes. Well, I guess you could say the two, um, but the 12 is, I feel like a very, like, not cult classic, but it has a very 
you really love the 12 yeah or you're just not a fan of it you're I just think, like i don't really see it i think the twos are cult classic like the people who yeah love it love it for whatever reason but yeah i think yeah. the 12s are more divisive where it's like i know there's plenty of there people who love the 12 but there's also people yeah. who like i think yeah to your point you're a lot of people are not on the fence about the 12 you're either like Fair, i love the yeah. 12 i want to wear it or you're like mm, not really for me and it, and it is interesting i feel like the jordan 12 I see a lot when people are doing like a um, sneaker with a suit, mm, yeah, um, like a you know, like a like a going to prom or like a tux, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like if we're wearing a suit, I like the classic dress sneaker, dress shoes, listen with a suit. We were all in high school at one point, okay, but we're not <laughs> all in high school anymore. And if you are in high school, go for it. Go yeah. for your homecoming, go for your prom, have a great Might time. Might as well. But if you're not in high school anymore, you're not yeah. in high school anymore. There you go. And I think the like I like the outfit change like yeah. that people will do at like at like weddings. And I think I'm mm-hmm. like, that is a great time to like, okay, yeah, yeah now I'm gonna like yeah. now that the, we did. there's a difference yeah. between yeah. When you're like, okay, I got my ceremony, but then I got my reception and they're right. too very so right. but I thought I was like when these were coming out, I was like, man, I feel like these were going to explode right because i was like this is gonna go crazy for prom season homecoming season like oh my god everyone's gonna want to wear these Mm -hmm. um because they are sneakers but they look so elegant right well and exactly with like on paper for amam and year the 12 or the 11 are like the perfect silhouette to do the like elevated luxury basics essential sort of thing you know of like you know Hey, we take like your, your everyday sort of shoe, but then do like an elevated version of it. That's what the 11 and the 12 were like. That's what Michael Jordan wanted to do is have those more like shoes that he could wear with a tux or something like that. So yeah, to your point, like on paper, this kind of should have been the one that took off for Amam and but like was the one that arguably did the worst for them. And I think it's just because it's a 12. Like you said, it's you, there's not a lot of people who are like, Oh, I kind of like it. I'll buy it. I'll see. It's either like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm going for this, or you just have no interest in yeah. in hitting it. All right. So where do we put it? This one's tough because I don't really hate it. If if anything, yeah. I do kind of like it, which is interesting because I don't really like twelves. Yeah. So like I kind of think it's a almost uh, I think it's a great C tier. Yeah. Where it's like because of the the twelve, I think obviously it's it's hard to deny the fact that like it did go to outlets so it wasn't even yeah. like a big big commercial success however i still think they did a really good job with it like the yeah. details uh just how it looks the suede on it so to me i think it fits i think pretty good within c tier well and here we are finding our criteria along the way jordan one silhouette we like execution we don't like jordan yeah. 12 silhouette we don't like execution we do like so kind of oh, there you go I think it is a it is right in the middle. There we go. Drop oh, them in. Like it. All right. Next up, uh, this is also in 2023. The airship in white and black that they did. Again, they did they did their first airship. I'm pretty sure that was 2022. They did a blue one. Um, it was a white and blue airship where the tongue tag said Ama Manier. They were like limited, I think, to like 2,000 pairs or something like that. That was kind of the whole thing about it. But really. I'm on and the airship, both the blue one, the black one, and then the green one they eventually did have kind of all been like, what if we gave them a limited release to help make airships more popular? Airships, so, yeah. Very minimal takes and touches on the airships. Uh, the first one actually that came out, the blue one was kind of the biggest uh, curveball, right? Because blue up until this point, you yeah. hadn't really seen I'm on and Jordan brand working in like that bright of a blue category. And then, so, you know, white and black was not kind of as pushy as the blue was, but a clean colorway, you get that cream midsole, which I think has that weird vintage staining thing that they do. I put the the hang tag because I knew he would like the hang tag. He wants the keychain. My man wants the keychain. And then I think the tongue tag has Amma Manier. And I like the D-Boss logo in the back. These, to me, would take on the the airship. Like the Amma Manier take, just not their color palette. Sure. I even like the tongue, like that kind of like very, like almost like very light, like salmon. It's very natural. Or, yeah. It's got like a natural uh, foam finish to it. Yeah. I like the matte. 
that the black has. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I really like that detail. I think this is a really good shoe of like a, you kind of want like the collab name brand, right. but kind of more something low key, a little flexy, uh, but a little every day. Yeah. At the same time. It, it is, like you said, it's not bad, but it's, it's a black and white shoe, which is, mm-hmm. I mean, probably going down as like one of the easiest colorways to mass do classic. Everyone's classic. Gonna, everyone's yeah. Gonna, yeah. So this one stuff, it's on an airship, which again, feels kind of like a forced, you know, which we have seen that Nike will be like, Hey, we've got a model. So we're going to push it. Yeah. So it's, it's weird. Cause it's like, I don't hate it, but yeah. it just doesn't feel like I'm on and year to me. Mm-hmm. So I almost want to go D tier just mm. based on, it seems like they had this shoe done. Yeah. And they were like, Hey, we're just going to throw your name onto it. If that's yeah. cool. I could also see it being C tier. Cause again, it's a pretty good looking shoe. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, I think you talked me out of it. Cause I wanted to put it, I wanted to put it higher, but I think just because I'm like, it's okay. a good looking shoe and I want to wear it, but I think it, agree and, and not wrong. Right. But you're like, hey, Oh yeah. But in terms of collaborations, like really, I don't know how much of a really true quote collaboration it was true. It's a, it's more than the first one, right? The blue one that just literally had the tongue tag. This one, at least it's debossed yeah. in the back. You got the, the little back, hang yeah. tag with it. So it feels a little bit different. Um, it's tough. Cause just on, on the wearability scale and like the, how much I like it. Oh, scale, yeah. I want to put it in B tier, but in terms of, is it a better collab than everything that's in C tier? I'm like, uh, I'm not sure that that's the tough part yeah i think i would wear this oh, over yeah. what we have in c tier for sure a hundred percent but is it a good i'm on year collab yeah that's where i'm like that's almost where that's i'm like question. i could i could be okay with c tier mm-hmm. because of how easy this would be to wear but then i'm also just like it's a black and white shoe so obviously <laughs> so yeah. that's almost why i think i i my head is saying D tier because yeah. I'm like, there's really nothing that I feel like made this an I'm on year collab. Mm-hmm. I'm getting nothing from their signature colors from this. Yeah. And again, I'm like, yeah, I'd wear it, but I mean, yeah, it's, that's the same thing of why I have a pair of vans because they're <laughs> black and white and they're easy to wear. So congratulations. I'm on You caught up the vans. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Which they've been doing room. They won. No. Dang, I hate it, but I think you're right. I think, Okay. I think D tier makes sense. I, we both want to put it higher just on like the, it's a good looking wearable shoe, but at the same exactly. time, it's, it's kind of a, uh, kind of a easy, like it's a softball, you know? Agreed. All right. That is a tough one. That was kind of, that was kind of like watching your kid go to college. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> you're kind of happy. You're kind of happy. But but kind of sad. Yeah. You're going to have yeah. a quiet car ride home. It's going to be an empty nest, empty nest for sure. Yeah. We're like goofy yeah. and goofy movie. Oh, if only. Max was kind of mean to Goofy. He was a that's, little. That's getting older. Getting older is going like, yeah. Because as a kid, you're like, Goof, stop smothering Max. But then as, as, when you're an adult, you're like, he's just trying to spend time with you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At some point, they stop telling you, hey, and be excited when you get home. And that's going to crush me. Too, too real. Too real. All right. Moving on. Talk about shoots. Talk about shoots. Uh, last shoe that they did in 2023 and the last collab since uh, the wow. size collection. The Jordan five pack, they did dusk, which was mm. like a black with the maroon hits, kind of like the, the traditional I'm in your color palette you were thinking, but then Dawn out of nowhere, the white silver yeah. upper with the blue accents on them. Now, Man. you and I, we've gone on the, on the record before as having opposite favorites here. I'm pretty sure. Very true. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. So yes. you're more of a yeah. dusk guy. I'm more of a Dawn guy. I actually ended up yeah. picking, picking up the Dawn colorway. My first pair of Jordan fives, love them. But similar oh, to yeah. the I'm on near fours and threes that I have just feels like a shoe. I can't wear every day in casual. Sure. It feels like I kind of be got it. I got to be going somewhere and doing something like there's got to be a, a purpose to it, you know? Yeah. But I love it. You know what's crazy? Mm. I think it was like, it was right around this, this release. Ash and I went to Dave and Buster's that okay. had just opened around our house. Okay. Saw a couple eating, wearing these same colorway or different colorways, different colorway, different colorway. S- uh, he, he had the, uh, he had the dust, he had the dawn. And I just Sick. remember thinking like, what a power move you're putting on yeah. in the D and B right now. <laughs> in the sharing D&B. some, sharing some apps. 
Yep. Right before you go hit the arcade and some hot mom and yeah, like hit it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I've I've never felt more broke in the than this moment where I do right now. Where I'm like, and that's not even like a crazy wealthy lifestyle, but you just hear that. And you're that like, is that sounds like such a good time. I'm jealous. I haven't thought of it. You know, a a, a, a sneaker collab plus go to put on the Amon arcade. Gears, go to DMB, hit the arcade. It's a good night. That's a good evening right Welcome. there. Oh, get some yeah. get some some ice cream on the way out. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, no, these were mm-hmm. these were great. I remember, and here's the thing: I, I remember talking a lot, like whenever these came out, of being like, "This could literally be a blind bag purchase," and I would be happy. Yeah, like I would like, even though I like the dust colorway more. If I got the dawns, like I said, in a blind bag, I'd still be like, "I'm still pumped." Yeah, I'm still pumped with with either of these. Um, so it, it that, like. And like you said, coming out with like that white and blue colorway just seemed like such a last out of minute nowhere. Yeah. And was just like, man, but being like, holy cow, that works so good. And then I yeah. love the pack of the dusk and the dawn mm-hmm. um, going together. So I, I just I, I really loved uh, when they dropped these fives. Yeah, same. I, two of the details I love most about these is that the sock liner, they did the embroidered their a their Amma Manier a logo on the inside there instead of quilted. And then yep. the netting, the mesh netting on the side that they changed out <laughs> yeah. for the Amma Manier A's. That's like when you saw it and you're like, oh, so cool. like they've got pull with Nike and Jordan brand to be yeah. able to like get that flipped. Um, I still am surprised that they put their name on the air bubble in the heel. I remember a little bit. I remember whatever episode we did when we were looking at first leaks of these and that was there. And I was like, zero percent shot. They do that. They've never done anything like that. Like that's so on the nose. That's not how Amma Manier operates. To this day, I'm surprised that that made it somehow. It was but, very weird. Yeah, that would be the first thing that I, I would, mm-hmm. I would, I would, I would to get that off. But other, other than that, yeah. Great. The other thing I'll say about this release and how much power Am Amanir has with Jordan Brand, the threes, fours, and the five now, Nike Air on the back. No jump, man. Nike Air Ooh. on the back of every single one. That's they listen power. to the people. That's they that's right. The they people. know what the people want. Um. How do you want to do this? Do you want to rank them separately or together? Because I, I feel like separately, right? You probably want to put the dusk above the dawn, and separately, I <laughs> want to put the dawn above the dusk. So we probably yeah. just put them at the I same think we level do it. together. I think we okay. do. I think we do. Yeah, I think I think them being together, I think is fair. Yeah. Um. To me, I got. I want to put these in A tier. I think A tier as well. I think okay, very high up, not S tier for me. I was. Hoping you were not going to say S tier because I was like, we've got to have something fill it out the middle. And not that we have yeah. to, but like, right? Shouldn't it be wild if I'm on where I was like, they hit, they miss, or they go down the middle? Yeah. Like, there's got to be exactly. some in between. Yeah, I think the fives are really good at A tier there of like some Part of their two. best work, but maybe not you know the most desirable for anyone. Uh, I agree. I agree. All right, so that's the last of all of the shoes that have come out. Well, as of today, I guess that's wrong. Coming up next, uh, releasing in 2024, released as of when we're recording this earlier in the week, as of when you're listening to this, the Jordan three while you were sleeping. So it's, it's very similar in color blocking and materials to the first Jordan three that they did a little bit different in that around the ankle, instead of gray suede there, you've now got that perforated, that mauve sort of color that they do, um, I think there's a couple other differences. I think the whole midsole on this one is cream, whereas on the original, it's between cream and white. Um, those are probably the biggest changes. But one of the details I love most that you can see in the shot right here, printing yeah. on the strobel board underneath the insole there. <laughs> you rarely see anyone do that. Uh, one of the other yeah. releases they did that for was the Stranger Things pack that they did years ago. The ones the oh, upside down yeah. that like you were supposed uh-huh. to burn away the uppers. Had the hidden message print on the strobel board. So sure sick. Yeah. It's yeah. It's a detail they rarely do. And good on them when they do it. You better take pictures. <laughs> Otherwise, like no oh, one's gonna what? notice yeah. it. You know? No one's ever gonna yeah. see that. But it would be sick if they didn't announce it and people just found out on their own. You know, like yeah. that would be another pretty big moment, I'm sure. That'd be very, I mean, it's a great way to 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 spark things back. And then mm-hmm. it, obviously like a year or two goes by and no one's posted anything about it. You'd be like, hey, Easter egg with this shoe. And then now yeah. people are like, you know, trying to find something. So 
So I think of this most recent collection of six, the Jordan three is the one that we saw the earliest leak of. Um, and I'm pretty sure we've talked about it before. And if I'm remembering correctly, I think the sentiment is good shoe, but maybe doesn't live, live up to the original three. And if you have black cement yeah. threes, maybe you don't need these. Are, Do you still stand by that or has yeah. the recent rollout? Okay. It hasn't changed anything for you. No. Um, that's pretty much kinda how I, I think the first three they did was just very clean, very different, very unique. And this one, I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just not really from, from all the, the, the promo pictures and things like that. I'm not really as interested in this one as, um, that, that first three they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we've said it before, but just to say it again, anytime you do a three with black leather on so much of the upper, it's really hard not to look at the black, like to compare it to the black summit three. Um, and so as I've said before, I have black summit threes. I have the original white. I'm a deer Jordan threes. To me, this one's kind of like the crossover between the two to where I think it's a good shoe. I just think personally, I would not wear it because of what I already have. Um, yeah. That being said, if you don't already have either or both of those shoes, but by the time you listen to this, sorry, it already happened, but I think it would be a good pickup for your collection. I will say the professional shots got to me a little bit to where I'm like, this looks a little bit better now than some hmm. of the, I mean, obviously it looks better than the early leak pictures we saw, but just like seeing the professional shots, probably the, the, the printing on the strobe board there got to be, like, I'm, a very cool. I'm a sucker for the details. Um, to where I almost wanted to enter a raffle or try to grab them off their website. But I think it was a bit more of the FOMO of like, this is what's happening in the moment. And that would make a great shoe yeah. for us to unbox on the channel. But I'm like, oh, nope, just sit it out, Ryan. I don't think you need it. I don't think you're going <laughs> to wear it that much. So I've, I've probably got a little bit of recency bias in how I want to rank this one. So do okay. you want to go first as to where you think it should go? I want, I want to hear, I want to hear what you've <laughs> got on this one. I think. Cause there's one right answer is it b tier is b tier okay yeah. i my recency bias wants to put it up in a tier but i know b tier is a better spot for it i i had a feeling that's where you were going with the mm -hmm. recency bias of a tier but yeah i think these are i think these are great at b tier <laughs> i hop on the i want to put this in s tier. i want to take everything out of s tier and move that down to e tier no everything goes um, down a rank <laughs> yeah we bring in a new rank um yeah <laughs> s -plus. i think i think b tier is fair i i'm sure for some people they would probably happily put these next to the fives like again i don't think it's not a bad shoe i could see it going either way yeah i think in you think if they hadn't done the white jordan three we'd be putting this higher uh there's a maybe. question there's a maybe. question i think we would be i don't know about s tier because i think we'd still be comparing it to the black cement three um yeah, but I th I but think it, we I might think, be, yeah we might be putting it higher if it were not for the first one, like we said oh, earlier right. in the episode, they set the bar high when they did the first one, and you are not nothing wrong. wrong with that because again looking at the list so far, very top heavy, like very weighted on yeah. the high end here. So yeah, all right, and like I said, they just didn't do it too. Yeah, <laughs> their Achilles heel. The two. Next one uh, from the while you were sleeping pack, the Jordan four. Mm. Um, we've got not mock-ups, but like early in hand pictures here. So the colors yeah. really vary between I'm, I'm curious to see the very different official images when they are close to release to figure out exactly what color this shoe is. Um, but up until now, it's also been called phantom or fossil stone. So I don't know what the official colorway name is, but here it is to me. <laughs> I can't help but see like, if you got the first four they did and just left it in the backseat of your car in the sun for a little too long, like it just looks, <laughs> it just looks so sun faded. It just faded. I, yeah. Yeah. To me, um, what was the, uh, not the mushrooms. What was those fours? I think it was a women's the mushrooms. They, uh, yeah. The mushroom was the original name. What did they eventually change it to? That's what you're talking about. Not fossil, maybe fossil. I think it was fossil. We're talking about the mushroom fours. I still have those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these, yeah, well, and I'm trying to tell, it's hard from the tiny pictures here, if they have the actual mesh netting on the side of them, or if they just did mm. the debossed imprint of the mesh netting there. I'd like to believe 
uh, looks like that it's... planet Earth turned slowly. No, I'd like to believe that <sighs> they left the mesh netting on there because I'm a Minier. You know, like yeah, I think, it looks like it. But Nike Air on the back. Hey, they don't take away it. from it. Yeah, and the, I I do like that they took the little metal stud out. Right, they're they're not yeah. being like that's our take on the Jordan Four. We're just doing a different colorway of it. They're doing it, albeit not that differently, but somewhat differently somewhat different somewhat different so this though goes to show you that silhouette alone does not save the shoe right you still yeah. gotta do yeah yeah good colorway so on. give me something um this one for me is on the lower end of the tier list here yeah yeah i i agree um man i i mean is crazy. How low does he want to go? Limbo time. I, I'm not sold. Okay. But D tier seemed D tier seems inviting. <laughs> D tier <laughs> seemed inviting. I'm not. I'm not wanting to say anything crazy here, but D tier is looking like Creed with arms wide open right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just there's just. Like it, it just it just seems color I think just almost like the same reason of the airships. Mm. I think it's a good looking shoe. Uh, like obviously it's a four. It's a good looking it, okay. like fours are great. So the colorway. Sure. Yeah. So the colorway, not bad. Obviously, we got early, early looking shoes. So yeah. everything is very varied, but it's not terrible. It's not yeah. like a, 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 a wild color, things like mm-hmm. that. But it also seems like there's not a lot. Yeah. And it's also tough because, again, kind of the same thing with the three. You did such an amazing four before this. I don't think this four is an A tier, but I think you don't give us that first four. It's better than it. This is better than D tier. Yeah, it might be in C. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think something that separates the first four they did from this one so much is the back tab being a different color. Like on the first four, it's black. Yeah. The purple. Black. It just breaks up that monotone a little bit ever so slightly there. Just something. Um, to get, yeah. And no, I agree. Just something to kind of separate a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'd be curious. I'd love to be proven wrong when the official images come out that people are styling these or getting them in the right lighting. And it's really changing my opinion on them, but just yeah, from what I we've seen so to- far. The the black on that first colorway looks so good with that very deep, yeah, purple mm-hmm. that they have, um, and then this just like I said, it it just reminds me of a shoe that has already come out. Mm, okay, and that's never great. That's never great if yeah. if you're releasing something, and I'm like, oh, this looks like this shoe. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. You know, and that's where I'm like, oh. All right, moving along. Last but certainly least, uh, the Jordan Thirty Nine from the While You Were Sleeping collection. Uh, <laughs> nothing against Al Mom and Deer here. It's the I think this is like the Jordan Two, right? Where Jordan Brands got a silhouette that they need to be pushing right now, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll give you the other five, but you gotta do me one solid, Al Mom and Deer." Yeah, and it's designed the thirty something for the Thirty Nine. I gotta assume Amma Manier did not come asking if they could do a Jordan 39 and you want to know what's funny there's no multiple images here because this is the only thing we have is why because yeah. no one's going crazy over early pairs no one's yeah. trying to get leaks of these um that being said I I like the direction they took on here in kind of that it's hard to tell because we just have the one image and just one angle right but the the Rorschachy sort of splatter mm-hmm. that they did which I think is just the Jordan 39 upper more so than an Amma Manier thing. But I just like that. It's yeah. kind of more free form. Whereas most of the Amma Manier collaborations are like sticking true very to the panels. Cut, yeah. yeah. Very clear cut. Um, this is like, when you're like, could you find one nice thing to say about them? It's like, I kind of like that, yeah. but here, here's the thing. Hit me. I like these. I got to hear how high you want to put before that, tell me what you like about them. Here, I, I, I don't know. I, I like the at least from this image. I like the the material that they have of it. I like the breakup. Um, I like the way these look. For mm-hmm. they, 
are very reminiscent of like um some Yeezy pairs like with Adidas. Um on the uppers? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can see that. I'm getting like also like for some reason, like I don't know why Ant's um shoes are are coming into this one, but for some reason I'm okay. I don't know if it's the 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 midsole, the outsole. Okay. I I actually really like these. You're seeing something now, I'm not here. I maybe, but yeah. it is one of those like I'm looking at it. That, that that was at the beginning of the episode. I was like, it's good. Wow. I'm, I'm curveball. This is a curveball. I actually really like these. I I don't like them enough to be like I'm gonna get them in a raffle. Okay. But if I'm out and this is on a shelf. I'm picking them up and I'm, I'm not buying them. I'm looking okay, at them. I'm, and I'm say, really, I'm saying, no, 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 not buying a, them. yeah, it, it depends. I'm going to look at them. I might try yeah. them. I'm probably going to try them on. I could end up for some reason buying these now could be a buyer's remorse, probably because I'm not a big performance basketball kind of guy. But from this image, I'm like, I kind of really like what they're doing here. They're not terrible, right? They're not yeah. terrible, but it's, I, I think, here's here. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. You go. I was excited. I'll I think let you for finish me, before I, for me, it's falling so much into the, this silhouette camp, right? You know, like, okay. It's just the Jordan 39. Like that's just not a shoe that I especially resonate with, nor is it like a hot shoe right now. Um, so I get, again, I get why they're doing it, but I think if okay. Jordan brand wasn't trying to push it, they would not be doing it. All great points. Let's hear it. Let's hear counter bottle argument. Like. Let's hear it. Bottle bottle like. <laughs> bottle like. Okay. Does it? Oh, okay. God, I thought you were. I thought you were winding up for the counterpoint there. Bottle like. So you got to tell me where do you want to put these? These go no lower than D tier. <laughs> these go. They go these, no. These got to go E tier. They're they not, not F tier. They're not F tier because they're not the two. They, but they're these not. don't go lower than D tier. These don't go lower than D tier. <laughs> Weird. These don't go <laughs> You're telling me these are just as good as the airships and the fours? I think they're better than the airships and the fours. Ladies and gentlemen, he's lost. <laughs> he's lost it. I'll, I I don't know what it is, but like, like, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if, you know, catch me in a week from now, I may be, you know, be like, yo, I was out of my mind. But from right now, I'm like, I would, given the choice between these and the airships with the fours, I'm I'm picking these for sure. We I don't know where to put them right now. All I know is that I made <laughs> chat. I need you all to weigh in here. This is the poll. This is one thousand percent the poll for this episode. Which Come one's on. better? The fours or the thirty nines? I can't imagine. I'm, yeah, I can't I'm, imagine I'm pulling, I'm the world 39s. puts these above the fours. I think so. <laughs> I think it's a close race. <laughs> I, I think it's a I like, can't I'm not, imagine I'm, because the the four bias saying that as someone who has a lot of fours yeah these are not bad I'll tell you what controversy controversy drives engagement so i will put them there <laughs> if nothing else just to get people engaging with this they yeah. listen everyone on the yeah. record these belong in e tier these belong in e tier there's no two ways around it yeah on the record i'm looking at the record right now and it's showing <laughs> e tier so you can say on the record and your it's honor on my the client record. actually had the record your honor my client actually <laughs> built the record yeah no these um these should be in e tier but i hope some people get upset with this and please let us know in the comments i think a crazy take but i'm happy to let you have it Whoever is upset is wrong. <laughs> and with an argument like that, how could anyone disagree? Yeah. <laughs> do you, come on. All right. So there you have it. Every Ama Manier and Jordan brand collaboration ranked, as we've said many times, and especially now leave a comment down below and let us know. How do you feel about these rankings uh, on YouTube? Well, I think on Spotify as well, you can comment and we could respond to them, but on YouTube, especially, yeah. Leave a comment. Let us know how you feel about these rankings. One more time. We'll put it up here just so you got you got the image. You can see here's what we're talking about. Let us know how you feel. Solid. What did we get right? What did we get wrong? I think 
99% of this list is solid. All right. All right. I think those 39s are in the wrong spot, but I think the rest Settle of it. Settle down. I think the rest of it pretty good here. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how right we got it, how wrong we got it, and what needs to be moved around. Um, I think that's going to do it for us, unless you got anything else you want to add here. Eat more cereal. Okay, well, hang on. We still got to, I admit on the topic, we still got to roll socials and everything like that, but nah, you could say you that. Go ahead, okay. Okay, yeah, you got, go ahead and yeah. roll them. You go ahead and uh, roll them. Thank you, everyone, for checking out another episode of Shoe Podcast. Drink more milk. You can find us online at shoepodcast.com. <laughs> no, after every sentence, you got to jump in with one now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, big spoon. Don't go little spoon. Quick, okay. just be, you're an adult. Big you spoon. Can, you can find us on all social media at Shoe Podcast everywhere except for where we're not. Cheerios are okay but it has to be honey nut if you're watching on youtube and you made it this far in the episode thank you so much if you haven't done so please consider hitting that subscribe button little thumbs up like we said leave that comment down below really helps a channel like ours if you're listening on your favorite podcast platform you can follow the show subscribe leave a rating and review helps us out a lot uh chocolatey cereal should be banned Lastly, if you want to continue the conversation with us, you can do so over on our Discord. We will have it linked down in the episode description below. Uh, you can pull a fun little prank on your friends. You make them a bowl of cereal, and then you bring them a fork. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, prank. for checking out another episode of Shoot Podcast. We will be back next week with another episode talking about, are we too old for sneakers? Are Ooh. we getting there? Are we? There's a lot of salt in this pepper, I'll tell you right now. Hey, and I'm here for it, baby. I love it. Ow, ow, ow. All right. That's going to do it for this week. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tony Young. Catch us next week. Catch you next week. We'll be caught. Yeah.